how beneficial are the relationships that you have now and this is Brittany Simone with do you see what I see <laughs> and this is something that has come to me from just asking myself some questions and it is really just how beneficial are the relationships that you have and as an adult the relationships that we make come from our childhood and what really made me look at this is sometimes we can find that the people we are looking and hoping to love us and per, you know protect us and all these different things we can find that as we get you know become adults we're looking to make up for that we're looking to supplement that we're looking for someone that fits that need and so when you look at a lot of situations and relationships you will find that that relationship where we did not receive the benefit or love. We want to replace it as we get older with someone that we're trying to fulfill it through them. But we're just basically attracting them as older people. Like when you find people who are abused, they are basically just attracting those who abuse them and they're trying to make it work. They're trying to make it better. They're hoping to fulfill it to where they can close the door for some things with that person from when we were a child. We're trying to prove something. And sometimes that can be detrimental to where we're looking for that relationship that can help us prove something that we felt we should have proved as a child or looking for something we didn't receive as a child. Like you find some women who attract men who just ignore them who abuse them, who talk to them. Because at some point in time, a man somewhere, most of the time the father did that. Or they recognized and saw something in a relationship with their mother and their father. And they saw their mother do something. And they're hoping to keep their daddy around by attracting the same kind of man, which we all know that's what you you end up marrying your parents or some variation of it. And you're like, I'm going to do what my mother did not do. Hoping that this will prove that if she would have did this, my daddy would have stayed and vice versa. It's also the same with men. To where you'll see a man stay with the woman who is abusive. Because they didn't get that love or receive that love from their mother. You even see men, which is the most common attract that strong woman who they basically want to beat the hell out of mentally, physically, emotionally, financially. Because they had that overbearing mother that made them believe certain things. Like for instance, there are some women who tell their young, you know, their sons, their young men, you can't go out and play basketball. You got to study. Yes, he grows up and become an amazing intellectual person. However, he still missed out on playing games. So now he's a grown man who's extremely smart, but he attracts to his mother and he wants to demean her, belittle her, and make her suffer like he suffered. You know, we all do that. So sometimes we have to look at that little kid and say, you're not going to run the show. Because as an adult, I think as an adult. As a child, I think as a child. And a lot of times we find adults are still having that childhood conversation. At some point, we all had the conversation of, when I get grown, I'm gonna do this. Like I know from me, when I get grown, I'm a cuss. I'm grown now, and I'm finding I really don't like profanity. But it's something that I would say purposely just because I'm grown, and we always have that thought process of, I'm grown, I could do whatever. However, it's still that child. And I know for me personally, Relationships, I'm always looking for some type of appreciation, some type of recognition. Because growing up as a kid, all I got was consistent criticism. I did something good, and it was a, okay, yeah, you did good, but what you going to do next? Or it was a, well, that's just Brittany. She always do good. Well, that's just Brittany. She's always going to do this. And sometimes I was like, okay, can I just get a thank you? But as I started to grow up, I began to realize I don't need that. Just like with potty training. 
at some point you don't need that treat if you're one of those who received that treat, right? I know for me, it was just that, that love, that appreciation, and sometimes that affection that I was missing out on. So as an adult, I would attract relationships, hoping to get that affection and then I get angry and I take it out on them because I don't know how to voice and vocalize my, that emotion. So I was finding that these relationships were only benefiting that childhood conversation and not actually benefiting the adult conversation. And that's what I started attracting. And I couldn't understand why. But that's why. Sometimes I felt like people should just like me because of who I am. I'm smart. I'm intelligent. However, I wasn't really bringing anything to the table to prove it. And I couldn't understand why. And I was attracting relationships with people who would not call me on my sh Or, if they did, I felt like I'm just going to ignore you. Sometimes I would be overly aggressive. Sometimes violent. That's because I was that little kid still looking for what I did not receive as I got older. So it is the fulfillment and the proof. And when I started saying, I have nothing to prove, everything began to change. Because now I had to go back and tell the little girl everything that she needed to know that she did not know then. So that it will correct my behavior now. And it worked. So sometimes we really have to look at specifically relationships because those are the things that we find. You meet no one but you. I was just attracting people who are who were emotionally detached or unfulfilled because so was I. You meet no one but you. So once I begin to really look at my relationships, I was able to show love, appreciation, because they were just looking for the same thing I was looking for, except I wasn't willing to give it first. And that all changed when I started to look at it. So there comes a time where you have to look at your relationships and see how much of this is me and how much of it is just external situations and consequences because I'm watching other people, which is another conversation. That's something we all need to look at. So this is Brittany Simone with do you see what I see? If you don't, let me show you.